Hey folks, Rob here, and uh, it's cold. It's like 36 degrees here in Kentucky. It's warmed up enough some of the snow's melted off and the ice from the ice we had. Uh, what we got here today is our BRG9. If you watched the last video, we cleaned this gun up, oiled it up, got it ready to shoot. I brought us out a fresh 100 round box of herders. Uh, this is currently about the only ammo in nine I have left, so uh, brought out a fresh box of that. Got us loaded up. As you can see here, your loaded chamber indicator protrudes just slightly. Uh, not Doesn't stick up enough to be really that noticeable, but you can feel it. And we are ready to go. I'm just going to take some shots down there at our little uh, torso target, our little uh, quarter size uh, torso and uh, see if we can hit it. I do have gloves on because it's colder and crap and uh, I don't typically shoot with gloves but let's see what I can do. I'm going to try not to ride that slide stop and this will be our first shot. And I did hit it. Well, hit the first couple. Where am I shooting? I think I'm shooting high. I think I got it. One of these magazines, I think I got 17 in. So, I'm going to load us up a new mag. We're not going to show that because YouTube frowns on that. But I'll load us up a new mag and uh, we'll take another few shots. Okay, we've loaded us up our next mag. We're going to try out this easy touch uh, slide release. We are loaded and it is easy to manipulate, definitely. So I need some paint to paint the target, but when it's cold like this, it's hard to paint targets. So. Uh, we're just going to continue to put a few rounds down there, see how this gun functions, and uh, if we have any issues. Lock back so that was uh, 32 33 rounds without no problems I'll load up our magazines again and we'll put a couple more through it maybe we'll aim at a different target all right guys I'm gonna set us up here on this uh, 12 inch we got it's painted a little better and I think we can see where we're hitting a little better on it and I got us two magazines loaded up and to my suspicions I was correct. Both magazines will hold 17 rounds. Uh, holds it fairly easy. Don't really have to, you know, put a lot of force on it to get that 17th round then. So, you know, uh, I don't know if I'd want to do that and keep it loaded with 17, but 17 will work. I'm going to go back here and we're going to be at 10 yards shooting at that gong. I'm going to aim at that uh, top smaller one. I'm going to aim towards the top because I do think we're shooting low.
think we're shooting a little a little low on that. Well, you couldn't even see that top target. I was aiming up at this upper one on some of those. I didn't even have you in frame. I was aiming, well, I'd aiming here and I was missing, but I aim up higher and I was hitting there. So I think it's shooting just a little bit uh, low. So like I said, I was aiming, well, when I was aimed center, I missed. So when I started aiming up higher, I was hitting them. Looks like I'm hitting them fairly centered when I hit. This one I can't tell about. I'm going to go back there and load this up a couple more mags. And we'll try it again. Maybe I'll get the hang of it. I'll get you where you can see all the targets. Alright, this is the last of the 100 rounds. I got uh, uh, 16 in both mags and one in the bore. Uh, that finished off the 100 round box. So, so far we have had no issues whatsoever. No failures to feed, no failures to extract, no light primers. Uh, it's taken me a little bit to figure out where to hold, but, you know, uh, I really should have put it on paper first, but uh, let's go back here and I'll try. I'm going to try that top uh, biggest target, and I'm going to aim toward uh, the 12 o'clock. Okay, I've brought us back. Let you watch me shoot this last 60. Uh, I'm going to be shooting a little quarter torso now to know kind of where to hold. I was aiming, I was shooting under it. So, we got our last, uh, this 100, this 100 rounds right here. So if we go through this and no hiccups, we put our first 100 to it with no issues whatsoever. I'm going to aim about the neck. No, I hit it. That one don't ring like the other. See what happened there. Must have been riding the slide release. Didn't lock back. I try to watch that because I know that's a big uh, slide release. So, okay, folks, there's our that's our first hundred rounds through the BRG9 Elite from uh, Buffalo Cartridge Company. This thing is basically a XDM clone. Uh, soft recoil, soft shooter. The trigger's nice on it. It's not not exceptional but it's it's a good trigger it's a good defensive trigger uh, you know it's got a little bit of take up this gun is unloaded and empty uh, you know it does have that little bit of take up but when you're shooting it you don't really feel that and if you noticed on that last string I pulled a couple if I try to ride the reset I, I set off more than I want to most times so anyway guys uh, hope you enjoyed the video this is a uh, this gun is in the price of a high point so I mean, this is a no-brainer. Uh, you know, this this gun is an exceptionally uh, well-made gun. It functions 100 rounds flawlessly of uh, herders, which is not known to be the best ammo ever, and uh, had no problems whatsoever. Uh, when it gets warmer, we'll try to put some more rounds to it. It's 36 degrees out here right now, and it's cold, and the wind's blowing, and uh, uh, Bill, if it hadn't been for this up Lula you sent me, there's no way I could have made this video today. I could not have loaded. I'd had to took them inside and let my hands warm up to load the magazines. But I can't show using this anymore. 
But Bill, you know I use it every time. And I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, uh, thank you all for uh, checking out my channel. And, uh, you know, uh, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, we'll see you guys later.